happy Sabbath, happy day, God is good all the time. I'm happy to be here again today. How was your week? I had an awesome week. I hope you too. Yeah, we thank God for his goodness and for bringing us this far. We will pray before we start our lesson today. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities in heaven. We want to thank you, Lord, for the care you gave us throughout the week. We want to thank you for another Sabbath that you have brought us unto, O oh God. We want to glorify your holy name because you're good. Thank you for all the children, Father, who are listening to the lesson today. Thank you for all the mummies and daddies. May you see us through the lesson to the end, for it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Today, today is lesson number 11. Lesson number 11. And the title of our lesson today is Snake Bites. Say that again. Good, yes. Snake Bites. When you think of snake bite, what comes into your mind? It sounds scary, right? Yeah, I can imagine. And our story is coming from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, from verse 4 to 9. Did you hear that? Numbers, chapter 21, from verse 4 to 9. The message for today says, We worship God when we have faith in Him. Can you say after me? We worship God when we have faith in him nice yes and our memory verse is very short today it comes from the book of mark chapter 11 verse 22 it says have faith in god yes you can say that again have faith in god very good um before i start the lesson for today I want to remind us about lesson number 10 for last Sabbath. And lesson number 10 was talking about what is it? What is it? And what is it came from Exodus chapter 16. It talked about the children of Israel in the desert. When God had provided some food for them, he had provided some white flakes that looked like snow. And you know, they would wake up in the morning and they find the ground all white. Because when they went to the desert after leaving Egypt, their food ran out and God provided for them food. So today's lesson, like I said, snake bites. Who has seen a snake? How big is the snake you saw? When I was growing up, there's a museum back in Kisumu. And we used to go to the museum to see the animals and the dried cheetahs and tigers and you know. Then there was this big snake called Omiri, so big that could swallow a whole goat. And Omiri could eat a whole cow, trust me. It was as big as me, but so tall. <laughs> then Omiri got burnt. So when uh, he was taken to hospital and he, he got healed, but he became tired and lazy around because he was no longer as healthy as he was before. But people came from all over the world to come and see Omiri because he was so big. But he was a friendly snake. He never used to hurt people. And while he was there, you could see his wound bandaged and he had people taking care of him. But now, guess what about the snake bites in the desert? They was not as friendly as Omiri. They are so tiny, you can see. They are so tiny, but they were poisonous. I'm sure you've, snake, you've seen snakes around your place maybe sometimes. And I've seen one here in my house at Kitengela. It was this long. But so thin and black but i was told it is also poisonous 
so be careful don't go near snakes and that is just a warning so let's go to today's story we asked here have your parents ever asked you to do something and you didn't want to do it but because you trust them you do it just because you have faith in them the same thing happens to the children of Israel so when they were in the desert for 40 years they were given instructions to follow at the beginning they did well then they got to a point they got tired and they were like why did we come out of Egypt to the desert there's nothing here but you know while in the desert God always protected them he put a cloud to protect them from the Sun during the day and at night there was a pillar of light and fire that gave them warmth and gave them light so God was so good to them and he told them to follow all the instructions but you know what when they were so close to the promised land they started to grumble they started to complain and they started losing faith in God then what happened they lost the sight of the land that they were promised then they went to Moses and started to grumble again now listen to what they said oh they grumbled to one another they grumbled to Moses why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness they complained there's no water there's no bread and we are tired of eating manna each and every single day imagine after God had protected them and taken care of them and and he God even killed their enemies in the Red Desert in the Red Sea sorry you can remember that when they were chasing the children of Israel then then the water swallowed them all the soldiers and and the chariots you remember that part of the story right yes they forgot about that they didn't appreciate what God had done to keep them safe they weren't happy about spending all the time in the hot, dusty desert. Let's do this. Let's understand that learning more about God and knowing His ways is good for us. Once again, they accused God of causing their hardship. How does God do that to us? He can't do that to us because He loves us so much. He tried to, or Moses tried to show them that God was still leading them and that God is the one who had kept them safe all this time. It seemed that all these and, and, and all they could do, they didn't see this. They were just complaining and complaining and complaining. And God said, uh uh, enough is enough. I am withdrawing my protection. I want to see what will happen to the children of Israel. So he let them be. Before they knew it, there were snakes all over. Snakes everywhere. And they wondered, we were not seeing the snakes. Where are they coming from? And the snakes were biting them, biting them. And they were venomous. And they, they were poisonous. Each and every tent, somebody, you would find somebody is dead or somebody is dying because of the snake bites. And they said, no. I think we did something wrong. We must go back to Moses and we must go back to God and apologize. Uh, it didn't take so long before they realized that God had left them on their own. We have sinned against God and we have sinned against you, Moses. They grumbled and they said, Moses, please, they begged, please talk to God. Please take, talk to God to take away the snakes from us. And Moses did what he prayed to God and asked God for his guidance again and God told Moses okay I see they are honest and they have realized that what they were doing was wrong so he told Moses now go make a snake out of bronze and put it on a stick and lift it high up you can see Moses holding this yes that is the snake he made. It is metal. It is made out of bronze. And he put it on the, cro on the cross and he lifted it high up. So he, he told them that God said this. If you have been bitten by the snake, look up to the snake 
and trust that God will heal you. And if you trust, you'll be healed. So those who are bitten by the snake, it doesn't it didn't matter how far you are, you could see the snake. When they looked at it and they trusted, they got healed. But some of us are very stubborn. They did not trust. They didn't even look at the snake. Guess what? They all died, those who did not follow the instructions. And that one tells us that whenever we are given instructions, we should do what? We should follow all the instructions that God has given us. The snakes in the desert were a symbol of Jesus dying for our sins. Remember? The snakes on the cross was a symbol of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. The metal snake itself didn't have power to heal, right? Yeah, what can a metal do to you? But what was important here is the fact that they had faith in God that they would be healed by just looking at the word, at the bronze snake. And so we're told, the Bible tells us that Jesus said, lift up the snake in the wilderness so the son of man no i'll read that again years later years later jesus referred to his death the bible tells us what he said just as moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness so the son of man who is jesus christ shall be lifted high up in the sky okay yes and you saw when jesus was crucified on the cross he was lifted high up and when we look high up in the sky we look unto jesus and that one means that we give us lives unto Jesus and we trust in Jesus for him to save us from our sins and um, that you'll get in the book of John chapter 3 from verse 14 to verse 15 please read that open your Bibles and read John chapter 3 verse 14 and verse 15 you will get those words there our father in heaven wants us to follow all the instructions so our faith in jesus christ lifted up helps us and uh, we told that uh, we should have faith in god and believe what the bible says and as i finish i will give you the message for this week which is we worship god when we have faith in him can you say that we worship God when we have faith in Him. Good. Yes. We worship God when we have faith in Him. Nice. And our memory verse coming from the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 22 says, Have faith in God. Can you say that again? Yes, have faith in God. And lastly, I'll remind you about the title of our story, which was Snake Bites. Snake Bites from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 4 to 9. I'm sure you learned something about this story today. And I believe that you're going to follow instructions, whether the instructions that we have been given in the Bible, instructions at home from mommy and daddy instructions at school and anywhere you go if you see instructions follow them and you will be safe and that marks the end of our story and not forgetting about covid keep the instructions what did you say wash your hands sanitize them and keep your masks on and don't forget to keep social distance okay God loves you and I love you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this lesson that we've had today. Thank you for the children who are so attentive and very cooperative. And Lord, I want to pray that you will take care of all of us this coming week. And that, Lord, you will not 
uh, leave us alone and that Lord you will always remind us about your instructions and that Lord we know if we look unto you Father we will be safe for it is a humble prayer trusting and believing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.